Hello everyone, Gujavalin here, and welcome back to some Nexomon Extinction. Before we get too far into anything, I want to go ahead and ask you guys to please uh, like and subscribe, uh, because that's pretty pretty cool when you do that sort of thing. Uh, so last episode, we fought off some more kidnappers. Um, we learned about our relic, um, actually not being much of a relic at all, but more of an egg. Um, so we now have to go to the east. Oh, hey, it's this lady. Dave, what are you doing in a place like this? Hey, Dina, do you know how to hatch a tyrant egg? What? Wow, we made her break character. Dave, raising a tyrant is a super serious crime. It should be obvious why. But we can use this tyrant. We can use it to defeat the other tyrants once for all. That's exactly what renegades like Atlanta thought. They were guild tamers like you and me who sought to bring peace using those monstrosities. Corrupted by such power, they lost their way. Now we're stuck with ha half a dozen psychotic tyrants. You need to find an elemental shrine, Dave. W wait, you're going to help us? I'd like to believe in you. But other guild members won't be keen on this venture, so keep your mouth shut. Have you ever been to Ignitia? my memory serves me correctly, there should be a shrine hidden over there. Ignitia is an underground volcanic city. The entrance is in the middle of the desert. It's a long way from here. If you keep heading east, you'll probably be fine. Awesome! If we find that shrine, can we hatch this egg? It's a little more complicated. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful, Dave. If you hatch a tyrant, you'll make many enemies. Please think about it carefully. I must be on my way now. Best of luck in the desert. Alright. So, before we go east, <laughs> we'll go east. Just so you guys didn't think I didn't know my cardinal directions. Uh, there was just some places over here that we didn't check out uh, that we can. So we're going to. Because, well, we can. Oh, I never healed. Ah, dang. We don't have this thing either. Alright, well, we're not doing much damage to each other, so. Take what I can get. Uh. Oh, looks like we need to go back and heal first. This cute Nexomon can be heard humming for most of the day. Some say it is to train its viperish living hair that seems to have a mind of its own. Alright, well, let's go back and heal. Uh. Because I don't want to be caught not. Or, well, without any. Other Nexomon to send out. Because that would be very unfortunate. I wonder if we'll have any more quests down here. The answer is no. We will not. Oh, man. So... Um... Did we actually go down here? Is this where we found, like, all the... Yeah, this was the place we went. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
At least we can get out of there pretty quickly. Fight this dude. I don't really care much for the extra dialogue. Wow! Hello! Uh... Can Woozy even take this thing on? Okay. That's a good switch. That's a really good switch for us. No joke. Okay. Sweet. Carcaros. Yes, I love it when we switch into a miss. It's the best. <laughs> F-Raid. It's a great name. No joke. Alright, I think. Yeah. Man, Loom is so strong. Love it. We'll just go ahead and nab that. Uh, I don't see any reason to go down there. Hey, hey! An ocean shard. And a plant whistle! Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I think from here we'll go ahead and head east. And, yeah, there's nowhere else to go this way. So, we'll head towards uh, this Initia place, or Ignitia, whatever it's called. Fortunately, we are nice and. Uh, actually, before I need to check. Yes, Imburion is Pongo's evolution. Okay, that is good to know. Very good to know. Actually, you're a ghost type. I'll take you on. Oh, beautiful. Didn't even take any damage. That's the best. When you lose no health. Okay, nothing down there. Fight you! I need the experience. I need it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is an interesting looking creature. Are we sure it's a Nexomon and not like a man in a costume? Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, let's go to Loom. Tundra. No, we don't have any revives! Oh, that sucks. Hardcore, not cool. Ugh. Gosh, Woozy is just, like, I want to be able to use him, but he just seems to be a little too underwhelming at the moment. That, that's, that's something that I, it seems to be the case with this game, is like, um, if you don't have the evolved Nexomon, you kind of struggle a bit. Like, you almost have to be overleveled to kind of succeed, which is kind of a bummer. But then again, I could just be really bad. 
at managing my uh, resources, so to say. If I can, if I can just get Trebling to evolve. If I can just get that one evolution, I think I'll be a lot better off. That's all I need. Just one evolution. Goose and Mimi. Got a trap. Stone shard. Dreadmore. Man, even, I mean, he is two levels above. Moonline. Sheesh, man. Got lucky on that one. This, this thing is a freaking tank. Like, no joke. Well, we can make sure that uh, Trouble gets some decent experience here. <laughs> uh, we can bring Loom out on this guy. Brum Brumtler? How do you even pronounce that? that? That is a mouthful and a half. That is a strong move. Oh, so close. Sucks that I have to just <laughs> backtrack. Although we might have enough gold that we can probably buy uh, a few healing items. Uh, I could definitely go for some revives for sure. Okay, I got 15 traps still. Let's uh, stock up on a little bit of food here. I think having about... It's probably better to have more, but I, I feel comfortable with a good three. <laughs> that's that's kind of my, uh, my number when it comes to how much food to carry around. Um... Of course, everyone's gonna have their own opinion. I think my brother likes to have around five. I got my brother into this game. He's already beat it. <laughs> but he's been playing it a lot more than me, so. Oh, this actually might be the cave that uh, the dude was talking about that has the vault in it. Hear my daughter getting into her blocks. Retriever. No! Get me out of here. Sheesh. Um. 
Uh, honestly, I've not seen what the vaults look like, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to be looking for. I found a donut. Hey, a goose! You're new to us, my friend. So 26 normally, uh, looks like you like that glazed cake, some oranges, I'll give you an orange, because we got four of them, so why not? And, missed, but of course we did. Why wouldn't we? It would only make sense. Hey, we caught that one. This creepy Nexomon is less dangerous than it appears. Don't let it fool you, though. It tends to lose people in the wild by either scaring them or misguiding them. Cool. Um, we are going to... Feel some of your health there, Trebly. Where, oh, where could this vault be? Prank Crow. Uh, likes donuts. Uh, I don't feel like giving it a donut, to be honest. I think I'll just take my, uh, nice, thank you, appreciate that. Take my chances with the, uh, RNG here. <laughs> when wandering through lonely locales, make sure to be to differentiate real scarecrows from this next one. His favorite prank is named Scare and Chase. Well, aren't you special, Mr. Prank Crow? I gotta evolve this thing today. I have to. Have to. Definitely not doing it on a freaking dreamer! Why? 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 Sheesh. Ah. Two max elixirs, 200 coins, 150 coins, 200 coins, two fire nexo traps. Then we have a Malatress companion and the tribute of decay. What in the world is that? Ancient elemental relic emitting a faint aura. Huh. Interesting. Uh, judging by the name and the color and the general location we're in, I'm going to go out on a limb. Why do I always fail the first escape attempt against this thing? I'm going to have to start fighting them. Like, just switch out in the loom. Just go for it. But anyways. <laughs> uh, judging by all those factors. 
I'm gonna guess that it is somehow linked to ghosts. Yes. Oh, finally. And he learned rock wall, which is not a very... Uh, it's it's not an offensive move. Uh, Riz is his defense, which is nice. I saw big looking. Trick Clay. Um, use a potion on you there, buddy. All right, I think now. Well, let's let's just. Let's just stick with him for the moment. Let's just kind of use him for a little bit. Maybe, maybe get him at least one more level before we start uh, trying to level anybody else. Uh, we do need to catch another one of these. Uh, we are nervous now. With four seconds left to spare. Sorry, I didn't mean to show my armpit there. Thank you. Alright, so we got one goose. Uh, this creepy next one. Yeah. Uh, so we just need a Mimi now. Wherever one might be. Okay, so this is back to the entrance. This is somewhere else. There. Ah. Ooh. Plurial. Uh, let's go to Frog Kick for this one. This thing actually looks pretty cool. Alright, to Loom. <laughs> Still does way more damage than it should. Please stop doing so much damage. Okay. Uh what about you? Alright, what do you like? Ah uh, a man of culture <laughs> likes the French fries. Uh, no. Right, hit the right buttons, please. Oh, we got a 50 50 shot. A small flying Nexamon with delicate but sharp edged wings that can summon the power of the forest. It uses its tail as a pummeling weapon against opponents. Uh, I actually think I'm gonna replace our little psychic dude. With this thing, because this thing actually looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So we're gonna use it, use it, use it. Uh, but while we're over here, we are going to go ahead and heal up. Bada bing, bada boom. Good to go. And then I think before we 
do much of anything else. We're going to go ahead and call it a day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.